there are two types of adjectives. We are getting into a new topic, adjectives. A adjective describes nature and the situation, feeling and the emotion. Adjectives in Japanese have a rather unique feature. Almost all adjectives are those words that have a origin in Japanese. Considering the heavy influences of Chinese in vocabulary and basic expressions, even from ancient Japanese, this fact is somehow worthwhile to be aware. As a topic in the grammar, an adjective is a much easier topic. Looking at the word conjugation, there are two groups of adjectives. Comparing with verbs, there are three groups, a total of nine different types of conjugation. The learning on adjectives comes with much less stress. The two types of adjectives in conjugation have identical ending in its predicative form. Shushike. In another word, they appeared in the same shape at its ending on the dictionary. All adjectives have the ending of xi. Taking these two words as example, ayau xi, tanomo xi. The difference between these two words are in ayau xi, xi is considered as the ending and it changes into various forms to work with a different helper verb, while in tanomo xi, xi is considered as a part of the ending, and there is additional syllable being added into xi to work with a different helper verb. There are a good number of words in both types, such as o xi, kio xi, aka xi, and the former type, and ure xi, Kurushi Sasamaji in the later type. Without referring to its form of use other than as a predicative form, or only to examine the meaning of an adjective, it is impossible to tell the two types. However, this grammatical fact generally remains in the modern Japanese, namely the later type of adjectives become to end in xi, such as ureshi, kurushi, sasamaji, that refer to the word in its modern form, a learner may have a good sense to figure out how it behaves. In the following, we will use three lectures to discuss adjectives in its way of work with the different helper verbs. There are two more related issues. Adjectives may work along without its ending, and under certain situations, adjectives appear in euphonic changes. Ongbin. We will not address these two issues individually, and which a learner may be sensitive in the real reading. Here are two drills on the basic of adjectives. To identify an adjective and to write up the stain of an adjective. See you at the next lecture.